Shout out our sponsors, GW Competitions. They run regular draws for you to win different prizes from cash to Rolexes to cars and all sorts. It's all legit and the draw is run through the Google number generator. And the prize is delivered the next day and if it's cash, it's transferred the same day. The draws are run on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. And you've got to be in it to win it. Ayo, we made this. MO7 did it again. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. A little Just bit tired. nervous? You know me. I don't really talk much in it, but yeah. So, um, first and foremost, I guess what many people don't know, I mean, everyone knows us as brothers, mm-hmm. Beckham, and for me, you're my brother anyway. Mm-hmm. But what many people don't know that my mum is your dad's older sister. Yeah. So yeah. many people didn't know that. So I came to UK along with you. We came together mm-hmm. back, is it 89? 9? But do you remember much about Congo? In itself, do you remember? Do you, you remember, remember, do you remember anything? I was three years old, so you was five, so you would have had a better... I, I, I've got vivid images, small images of us there, or me there. I remember, I got images of me going to school. So yeah. I got, like I used to wear some shorts. I used to wear blue navy, navy blue shorts and a shirt. Yeah. And I've always got the image of me running through, like the playground kind of thing. But I, didn't, I don't remember no friends. Nothing like that. See, I don't remember you. I just remember being on the plane with you. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. I came here when I was maybe, yeah, just gone free. I remember they told us. I remember the night. I can't remember who it was. I think it was mum or dad. Someone said to us, we're going to see an auntie. We're going to see someone. Yeah. And then I remember just crying. I was crying, 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 crying. Like we left wherever we lived or whatever. And we didn't come back. Yeah. I remember we just didn't, the journey felt so long that like we didn't come back. I think if memory serves me right, I think we went to Belgium first, then we was in France for a good while. Yeah, we at, lived. Um, at, at, our, our parents' older sister's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dantine, je we yeah. stayed there for a quick, and I think that's why I remember my, my French. How's your French now? Dead. Yeah, so Dead. I think I've, I've managed yeah. to, I was speaking to Yummy Media the other day and like my French was- I can't, I reckon terrible. if I was to go back and a few months there, yeah. yeah. I think it'll probably come back. So we got to, I think Britain was 1989, I But believe. sorry, let me cut you. I remember crying constantly because yeah. I remember they, they said to us, we're going somewhere to see somebody and we didn't come back home. But then the next thing, I remember seeing a big bird. Yeah. That's how I described it, a bird. Oh, the, the airplane. airplane, okay. It was, we, I've never seen that before. Yeah. So it was like a big bird, isn't it? And I remember just, yeah, the journey all the way through, I remember just crying, 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 yeah. all the way, even in Paris or where we was. Mm. We was probably too young to remember all that or how it affected us. Yeah. You get me? But I remember crying all the way through. Then we ended up in uh, London, came obviously with mum and dad. My, I still call them mum and dad, but my aunt and uncle, your Yeah, your, we didn't your, know your anything, innit? Yeah. We, we were just kids, we didn't know nothing. So yeah. the brother and your brother and your little brother. So yeah. that's how we I mean, always that, roll. That, 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 that's how so, it's always going to be for me anyway, to yeah, be yeah, fair. Yeah. But um, we moved to Dulwich originally. Yeah. Do you remember much about Dulwich? I remember we had the next door neighbours, Carl and... And... Um, Curtis. Yeah, and, 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 and them guys. Yeah, 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 them people. Do, do you, I remember we got in trouble because we went to go and eat pasta in the house one time. Where's it, it's I don't remember that, man. They remember. Because okay. nah. we got in trouble. We went next door to, and we ate spaghetti bolognese. Like, who told you guys to eat people's house? Do you remember that? We probably got beats as well. Yeah, I no, definitely, we, did, yeah. definitely got beats. What I do remember about Dulwich those times was Christmas. I remember they, 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 we got Christmas present one time. They said Father Christmas had come. Do you remember that Christmas? And then like, we ran upstairs and I had like a football thing. And Do you remember that? They used to try to please us, didn't they? Yeah. And make us feel 
happy about yeah. where we are with the transition kind of thing, innit? Mm. So I think they always used to do like all them fairy tales, they used to try to go by it. Yeah. You know, like, I, if you lose, if you're, when your tooth drops out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, money will be there, like yeah. a pound will be under my pillow and things like that. So by the time I was just young, I didn't get it anyway. And I think the last sort of memory I've had of, of I remember, I remember going to Groveville Primary because you remember much about the primary school at all? Yeah, Groveville, yeah. I remember. Grove, what the, <laughs> yeah, I had a few friends in Groveville. Yeah. I've got pictures of us three as well. Right, at Groveville? Yeah, of me and my friends in school. Okay. In Groveville. Yeah. I don't really, I need to go to mum and dad and check the, the four albums. But again. I don't remember us being there long though. Yeah. But I remember being in school. We was like a, what, I think it was nursery. Or yeah. I was in probably nursery or I mean, the, the, the other last thing I remember from there is, is I, don't, I don't remember Jarvis being born, but I remember his birthday. He yeah. had a big birthday when like the whole of London turned up to hit the Dutch house. <laughs> Do you remember that yeah, birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All it's, the Congolese people, yeah, yeah. All mums and dads friends and that turned up. Yeah, I remember that. So we eventually, I can't, again, my memory is not that great, but we, I mean, for, for this, but I then remember we're packing our stuff and we ended up in, in Peckham, Gloucester Estate. Going to Gloucester Estate, did, did you did you remember when we, we first moved? Do you remember, I think it was like 92, it might have been 91, 92. Everything was happening when we was young, innit? it? Like, it's only now when I look back at stuff and I think, wow, you was kind of like a traumatised kid, you know? Because mm. you went through all these little changes in your life. Yeah. So that's when I'm trying to piece my journey now, yeah. that's what I kind of put together. But yeah, um, no, say that again. Oh, that question again. <laughs> so basically, do you remember when we actually moved from? No, I don't Dulwich remember. To... I don't remember moving to from to Dulwich. Yeah, from Dulwich to Gloucester. No, I don't. Yeah. But I remember going. I remember we lived in Gloucester. That's yeah. like that. That was when we kind of started to. Identify ourselves. Well, I mean, one thing I definitely remember, and it was the first day we actually asked to go and play out. You might remember it. I remember, I remember it clearly. We went downstairs. We saw a group of people playing. Kids were playing. I don't, I don't know if we still had a fresh accent or not, but remember you going to ask people to play. Can we play with you? I mm-hmm. think it was Joe Grind, uh, Fraser, Mark. You said, oh, can we play with you? I think they're playing run outs. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace to Fraser. Do you, do, you, do you remember that day when you went and started asking them not to play? Yeah. I don't remember. But I remember always... You know, I remember trying to mingle, fit yeah. in mm. with the kids in the estate because I remember we used to always just watch in the window. Remember, I was say that. We, we used to sit window. by the window <laughs> all day and just watching all the kids downstairs in that little playground. Not even kids, it was like most of the olders, my olders now. Yeah. Like most of the people that I grew up and respected. Yeah. Yeah. But there's all downstairs, all there cool. There's all me, downstairs. you, Why don't you just sit looking by that says, window just... and think, can we go out? No! You know, like that. I used to we used to sit there like, watching everyone walking around, playing around. Because I think on that estate, exactly where we lived, I think everybody lived there. Everyone. It was, it was Giggs was there, Fraser was there, Fem Fell was there as well. Um, Gideon was further away where the the ramps were. Mm-hmm. So it's literally everyone that you kind of think of living in, in that estate. I have fun. I don't remember any sort of badness nah. going on. Them I remember it being fun. fun. Them times were fun. When we eventually was allowed out, and I think. Um, yeah, I don't want to name names, but that's the only name I'll probably name is Fraser. Mm. That's one person that looked after me in it. Yeah, growing up, when everyone was telling me, "Nah, you can't play with man or whatever." Yeah, that's why he beca- he was like my big brother. Yeah. He looked after me. Anyone tried to bully me or whatever, he was there. Yeah. So how, how much older was he then? Like, a year older, a couple of years older, a few years older. Cause we remember we used to go to his. I don't know. I don't know if you ever went, but I used to go to their mom's house downstairs, and they used to have like a Bible class mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. a Sunday. Did, mm-hmm. you, did, did you come? I never went there? to the Bible class, but yeah. I was in the house. Yeah. So what about the actual just hanging around in that area? What what, what sort of things do you remember doing? The fun stuff. Knock down ginger, dumb things like that, and then remember that little brown dog, Jasper. You won't remember Jasper, man. Yeah, there was Wait, a dog my that used show, to just my chase everyone around there. There was a dog that used to just chase every. If you see Jasper, you better run. I can't even remember now. Some brown little rock, not a rock rider, um, a staff. Yeah. And it could climb, it could reach the wall, but like, if you think about climb, jumping walls, mate, that dog's going to come with you, bro. So, I can't remember that, that dog, to be fair. But then we went to Brunswick Park Primary School, and I guess that's when I found my love of football. By that time, you used to be a decent footballer. Yeah, remember, come on, I was better than you, bro. Come on, come on. Well, listen, you listen, you're remember, never I played for South London. Yeah. I represented Warwick Park from yeah. year seven to year 11. I was, I think I was the school captain. 
And then I played for like Fisher and all things right, like right, that. But cool, cool. Let's just let, let nip this in the bud. Yeah, you but <laughs> you. don't, when you played for the years, my journey just when, went a different way. When, that's all. When you played for the year sixteen, but I was with like Cherno. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. But Cherno Cher was a year Cherno, below you. We played the same team. Hang on, yes, Cherno was a year below you, and I was a year below Cherno, mm. right? So think about it. You played for the year six team at year six. Mm. I played for the year six team in year four. Ah, uh, that's football, bro. That's football. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. You, that's, you, football. You that's that, yeah? your subject. You uh, love football. All right, cool. I, so, I ended up kind of losing the love of football after a while. I, that's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to get at. Is that you? You just took it on. You took it on further, mm. but I was the baller. I no, no, no. You baller. played. That's, that's what I'm trying to understand. That when did it happen? Because we all used to be football mad. You was Arsenal supporter. You even had, mm-hmm. you had the weird Arsenal top with the weird. Who did you have on your top? Mark, Mark, no, you had Mark Schultz or something like that in the back. Like, ah. Schultz, you had yeah. Schultz. Yeah, Schultz. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I can't remember his name properly. Yeah, yeah. but let me say that. When did you kind of stop? Is it when you went to year seven? Because you used to be mad about football. I used to be mad about football. I think it was just Brunswick Park. When we went to Brunswick Park, I think I was still playing football then. Yeah, I was still no, playing football. Yeah, I was playing, playing football all to year, year 11. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I think year eight, year mm-hmm. eight, year nine. That's why I think, you know, like, see when now, when I, now I've got a child, see little things like taking your child to football or yeah. following him. Mm. That was a big thing for me. Yeah. Like, cause, but I used to come to school um, football on a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Dad wasn't there. Mm. Who was taking me? Mm. No one didn't want to take me. You know what I said about that? I said, why it was different for our parents and sort of parents. So after of... a while, I just thought, you know what, forget this football. No, no one, but what no I want to say, what I want to touch on that, we have to remember is that, our parents came here and they couldn't just get your regular nine to five. Mon- Monday to Friday, nine to five, mm. and their weekend to free. Mm-hmm. They were working the weekends. Yeah, but at the time, remember, I'm still a young child. I'm still trying to un- understand mm. coming from over there to here. I'm still trying to learn the language. And I've got, I'm going through so much emotions isn't yeah. it? at the time that I didn't think they did, they understood. Yeah. Oh, no, I remember one understood Mr. At the time. Mr. Underwood used to come and pick me up. Remember Mr. Un- Mr. Underwood? He was yeah, 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 the yeah, manager. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you've gone on to year seven. So when you're in year seven, I'm in year five. I remember you coming back every day, you and Oz. And Oz, um, for people who don't know, Oz is mum's um, brother, but he was like basically one of us as well. And you guys used to come back with hella stories about Peckham. And like, oh, this graph and that graph. And I used to feel excited about it. Do you mm. remember sort of going, you know, this person had a fight with this person. Yeah. And I just listened to all these stories. Was it a thing that where it could, so could you, you was in year seven? So year those- seven, I remember starting work part school. Sorry, I remember starting year seven, and the first day of school, mm. there was the biggest fight I've seen in my life. Yeah, like under Camden Estate. You remember yeah. Camden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After school, all the kids run down there. I think it was like the black boys and the triads because back then we had triads okay. that 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 was on stuff mm. like a gang of Chinese and Vietnamese or whatever um, yeah so it was I think it was the blacks and the triads or something like that but it was a big fight and that was my first witnessing something crazy yeah like the whole of the school ran under underneath Camden just to watch these two people fight yeah and yeah that just that that did something to me man so, like you said, you went to year seven and you were still playing football for Work Park. So, at which point where, I guess, you don't been caring about no more and you're caring about the road school. I think I was actually in year five when you've come back home. I think you went West End and you guys stole, like, socks or something. That's the first mm-hmm. time I think you ever got arrested. You guys stole socks and you got beats when you come back. So, what made you, at that point, I don't think we was up to any badness. What made nah, you go and go and steal socks from Selfish and stuff like that? Them not- all them older ones that I grew up anyway, that I looked up to, some of them, most of them, they used to stand outside of school. Yeah. So as a young kid, it kind of distracted me from my school and my education because they used to just stand there. As soon as the minute you leave school, they're trying to entice you to either go shop, do this, or come here, do that. And mm. the way they just moved after school with all the new trainers and they're just standing there. Yeah. Doing nothing. Mm. And I used to think, oh, how did they get all of that? Mm. How did they get all them one tens on their feet and gap anorak jackets and mm. all of these stuff? And back in the day, that the first that time when I got arrested, the first ever time, dad actually gave me money, you know. Yeah. Dad gave me some money that day. Mm. And 
we went, I think everyone went West End and we went Warner Brothers. Yeah. Because everyone used to wear Warner Brothers jumpers oh, yeah, yeah. with a big WB and mm. the, yeah. So I think we was all trying to steal socks, jumpers, whatever. Yeah. And this time dad's actually giving me money. Yeah. And I had, I think about 80 pounds or 90 pounds in my pocket. But I didn't even spend the money. Mm. I was just trying to do what everyone, everyone else was doing. Yeah. That like, we're getting free jumpers, we're getting free clothes. So, yeah, that was the first ever time I got arrested. And dad I mean, when, 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 you got, when you got arrested, are you, are you, are you shitting your pants? Are you scared? Like, yeah. That's big. That's a big guy. <laughs> so, those beats weren't were sitting simple to deal with. So, was you sort of shitting yourself and thinking, oh, yes, I, I, was, I couldn't wait. I didn't, I didn't even want him to come to the police station because yeah. I was still a minor mm. and you had to get an a adult to come yeah. and bail you out or get you out. So, but I didn't even want him to come to the station. Yeah. I was scared. But I think that even the officers knew how scared I was of my dad coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, look, I mean, looking back now, sort of thing, right? I can look back. It's kind of crazy. I can, say, I can look back fondly on getting beats because, like, you know, I've done wrong about mm. beats. But do you think sometimes it was excessive in terms of, like, could you, I can't see myself ever hitting my kids for example, but I can understand the discipline. I mean, so Ryan's getting to a point that where she's just running around and being, she's only two and a half years yeah. old, she's been in news, but I can't ever imagine. So do you think that it's different times and all the kids now Remember, that's when I, I think, looking back on it now, I always say I did deserve it. Yeah. Because I was just a nuisance. Bro. Yeah. I was just, just running wild for no reason. Mm. So I was a, a little brat. Yeah. So looking back at it now, you know, like sitting in jail and all that after you, you, the time's gone past, you think, yeah, like, you know what, mum was right, mm. dad and that was right, but it was excessive. Mm. The day I left home, yeah. remember? Well, I mean, I we'll, don't get, think... we'll get we'll get to there. We'll get to there. <laughs> There's still time. We'll get to there. But even before we get there, so at which point now are you sort of affiliated with sort of the Peckham boys? Are you? Because then I guess. I was kind of learning at the time, but at which point would you say like, oh yeah, you're part, is it just like someone said, oh yeah, we're together with Peckham Boys, then you join the FI house? Never have, never have been, it, it's never been an affiliation like that. Mm. It, these were just friends, we grew up together. Yeah. I wasn't it, trying to be, no, it, I didn't get no affid, um, initiation in no mm. gang or nothing. Like, no, mm. we were just, me and my mates rolling and we keep to our circle mm. and that was it. We was from Gloucester, we kept to our little corner and that was it. That was it, really. I mean, but you, you used to be Firehouse. You, yeah. Because I remember, you, I remember being at home and seeing you tagging Warner it and, Firehouse. But at the time, that's what the little group we called ourselves, yeah. Firehouse crew or whatever, yeah. from Gloucester, North Peckham. But I didn't really see it as we are going out there to fight or anything. Yeah. It was just like something you graph and you're designing, graffiti on the, on the walls. I stuff. mean, what, one thing everyone always tells me, that fucking hell, man, you're... You, Bob, you moan all the time. That name Mona suits you, but right? that was never my name. That was my brother's name. That name Mona, where did it come from? Why did you? Why, who gave you that name? Or you just? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who. I don't know. I can't even remember how that started. You know? It's not a name I gave myself. Yeah. You no. Know? It's what I've just heard all my all my life. And, you moan then, a lot. Yeah. People. Say, oh, you moan a lot, man. But it's. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I don't know where it came from. So, in regards to sort of Warwick Park School, academically, how do you think you was? Were you sort of high set, mediocre, lower set? I say I was mediocre. To be yeah. honest, I was mediocre. Yeah. But I guess most of it was because I was distracting. I was, by the time, by that time, I started fighting a lot. Yeah. And you know, like hearing the term African bubble, mm. you know, things like that mm. used to tick me. Mm. So, as a fresh young man or fresh young boy in the school. Mm -mm. That that was a big distraction yeah. from from what my learning. I remember actually fighting. So that started. I just started well. fighting and fighting and fighting. Yeah, because of things like that. Yeah. Just because of my accent mm. or oh, look at these trainers and little things. So I've been fighting from young. Mm. So yeah, that's what kind of distracted me from I think ex excelling in my education. Well, at which point then did you start smoking? Because that was I know Dad used to smoke cigarettes. But then I never, I just thought that we were so much into football, we didn't smoke. Then obviously, I think it was a year nine. I think I started smoking. Do you know? Do you remember how it happened? Was it weed first or cigarettes first? Cigarettes. First. Yeah. Cigarettes. With we was all young. We was all. I think someone brought a box of cigarettes to school. Yeah. And we were all at the back of the school trying to. What's it feel like? And then, Do you actually remember how you got caught by mom and dad? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, remind I you, I think me, Bob, man. you was in. I think you was in year eleven, and. Mm -hmm. 
You used to try to stay back at home, stay back in school just to hang around with friends, but you told mum and dad, oh, I've got art club for GCSEs, whatever. And I think they just gone shopping to Nettles, mm-hmm. so they drive around the back and they called you and you didn't know those behind you. They said, where are you? And I think you tried to lie. Oh, no, I mean, football practice. Football or and they said, turn around and you had the spliff in your... In your yeah, in your, oh, that day, there, man. That day was crazy. I think that's the day you got kicked out. Yeah, that's the day... <laughs> Dad put his hands on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the day he put his hands on me, mate. Like, they were, I said to mum, I think, yeah, remember, I used to stay out for long. Mm. I'll stay out after school for long. Some days, remember, I'd even stay out all two days. Mm. Go, leave Monday to school and I'd come back on Wednesday morning. Mm. <laughs> like, they used to think, where have you been? Mm. Nah, nah, nah. Like, I'm just been chilling at my friends. Like. Mm. Like, I still have, wake up and go to school. And, Come back and we're chilling, playing computer. I mean, I mean, not to sort of talk it down. There was, there was a period where I guess it was really tough for you because I ended up getting in trouble because of you. Because mm-hmm. you was actually at one point sleeping in the car around the corner. Do you remember that? Outside Gideon's, you Gideon's remember house. That? Yeah, you were sleeping. So every morning I would get up to try and give you food and stuff like that. And then one time you... you <laughs> I ain't like getting beats because of you. Because mum <laughs> said, don't give him anything. Uh, or, or it, was, it, was, it was dad. So basically... This <laughs> no, but I had a car. I had cars from oh, young. Boy, phone, phone, so phone, 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 phone. I was, I've been driving from young, innit? Mm. Or kind of getting into stolen cars and things like that. So I had a car from a young age. I was still in school at the time. Yeah. So I remember, I think that, yeah, for that incident, I told mum I'm going to football practice. And they phoned my phone after school, about four o'clock, five o'clock or whatever. And they were going shopping, mm. but they're driving past. Yeah. And the fence, you can see through the fence, mm. innit? So mum's like, mum for me, like, where are you? Mm. I'm like, oh, I'm about football, I'm about football. Ah, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I turned around and literally, I had the thing in my mouth, like yeah. I literally just, I dropped it. And then from there, it's, I made it worse by not coming straight home. Mm. Because I was scared. I yeah. knew, oh, I'm not, I don't want to go home, man. I'm not going home. I know what's already coming. So I made it worse by coming in about 8 o'clock, yeah. 8, 9 o'clock <laughs> in the evening. So that's even made it even more worse. And Dad just, he didn't even talk about Because mm. I remember that happened, like I said, that then obviously there's one time where after you've been kicked out, so I think you need to come in to, to have a bath or something, right? Mm. So this is early morning. So I've let you into the house. <laughs> I've let you into the house and you've left your trainers downstairs. So you've gone upstairs to go on bath. This is maybe seven o'clock in the morning. Mm. So all of a sudden, like, dad's got up in the morning. <laughs> he's gone for the morning to go and use the bathroom. But I'm in there. You're in there. So he's knocking the door. He's trying to I open the door. He's knocking that. the door. I remember <laughs> that. And you're quiet, you know. I remember. That's like, who's, oh, in who's in there? Who's in there? You're quiet, you're quiet. So he's come to look into the, my room because I've sort of hidden to make sure, see that I'm not there or something. Then he's gone downstairs. And when he's gone downstairs, he's the bottom to creep bathroom. Out. You creeped out and you've ducked out, yeah. you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> so I've tried to sneak back into the bathroom now, as like if it was me. He's, he's let me bath and everything. I doesn't get with the school. He said, Come here. I said, what? You said you let Carly in here. I said, no. He said, you let Carly in here. I said, no. But you had left your trainers downstairs. downstairs. So no, you need... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up getting beats for that. But then, I mean, how was that for you? Sort of being 15, 16, kicked out at home. Sleeping on the corner of the road. The corner of the road. In literally, my car. Literally down the road. Do you, do you, I mean, do you respect the tough love? Now I did. Now yeah. I do. Yeah. Because I, I didn't make you feel at the time. Though. At the time, nah. At the time, I think it made me worse. Yeah. Because there was even an incident when the police called it. Mm. And I had to get bailed out of police yeah. at the station because I've been in there all day. Kind yeah. of. An, an adult needs to come and get me out. Yeah. And I remember they called mum one time. Like, come and get him. He needs an ad- appropriate adult to yeah. get him out. And I can remember, I had the phone. They were like, talk to your mum. Get yeah. him so I've tried to tell her what was going on. I yeah. need someone to come get me. But I've, by the time I've given the police officer the phone, I can hear her in the mm. back, like, give him one more day. Yeah. Give him, <laughs> give him one more day. I was like, oh. then for me, nah, that made me angry, bruv. Yeah. Like, I used to go in the pre- in the in the cell and smash up the cell. I would smash up the cell and stuff like that. Would Make you, the would, water would, tap would, 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 would you say 
you had anger issues. Because the reason why I say this is that I don't remember an incident in year 11 when they've let you back into school uh, just before GCSEs, you end up being kicked out. I think the year 11s were beef in the year 10s or something like that. Yeah, but that's, listen, listen, I lost my phone. Yeah. Someone took my phone. Mm. Someone took my phone. Now, that morning, we was all, I came into school. Mm. I've come into school. We used to always go around the back of the, one of the school blocks. I think it was the technology or science block or one of them. And a couple of the boys would be smoking there or whatever. And that morning, I've come around, but only the year 10s are there. Mm. And I think, yeah, I was probably like the only year 11, I think. Me and someone or whoever. And you know, like you're smoking or whatnot. But I've put my phone to the side. And the bell's gone. Mm. Ding, 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 ding. So then I've run. Everyone's got a dash to class in it. But as I got to class, I'm thinking, where's my phone? Mm. So then I remember, I left my phone over there. So I've tried to go back over there. Obviously, there's no phone. So I remember by break time, I've seen a couple of the year 10s, and I've just told them, listen, if my own phone, if that phone don't come back by lunchtime, then it's whatever, isn't it? That then everyone, everyone that was at that spot is going to find out. I'm, they're going to know about it. Mm. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they took it serious or whatever. But by lunchtime, <laughs> lunchtime came, Bob, I swear, that day I left, I went to school. I left home. I left school. I left home with one phone, but I came back home with about 10. Because yeah, I, 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 I just rounded up. Everyone that was there, I want your phone, I want your phone, I want your Give it now. I want everyone's phone. Bro. So what did that what did that guy do then that you end up bottling? Did, did he refuse to give me his he phone? He didn't want to give me his phone. I think, yeah, I think he didn't want to, I don't know. I think, I think he didn't want to give me his phone or or I think he laughed. Or, I don't know. I can't remember. This was his school, man. But why I say that I'm asking if you have anger issues is that you had a bottle and you was hitting him over and over at least eight, nine times that the Yeah, and it wasn't smashing. Because I wanted smash. to smash the bottle. The bottle wasn't smashing. And it, it Look, looking back now, did he deserve that? You, he didn't deserve that. Especially even taking their phones. You lost your phone. Someone's taking it, but did everyone else deserve it? No, nah, but I've, I want my phone. No, I hear that. I want I mean, my phone. To be fair, I don't, those ages, no one's really thinking, really. So yeah, and we was kind of young, innit? No one was thinking at them ages. No one's really thinking straight, innit? We were all young and dumb. So. But the at the time, I just wanted my phone, and I didn't get my phone, so... It just escalated into some next thing. The, the but school then I got kicked the out. School, the school eventually let you do your, your GCSEs. You got kicked out, but you, you didn't have to do your GCSEs at the time. Only if mum would bring me onto the school premises, sit in the corner, watch him do his GCSEs, and take him off the school yeah. premises. Mm. Straight after. That's how I ended up doing my GCSEs. And how well did you do your GCSEs? Yeah, I got like five A to Cs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then college-wise, where did you go? SFX, I think? Was it? SFX. What, what, what did you apply to do? Art, art and des- art, PE and stuff like that. Design technology, but things like you, that was always you, my... Were you taking it serious at the time? I was creative. I, I'm, I've always been creative. Yeah. I'm very creative. Yeah. So, but at this that's time... That's the only thing, I think that's the only subject that I took interest in. Yeah. But at this time, you started shooting, right? I yeah. would say. So, Trying to make money yeah. or whatever. So... How did that come about? Was it a thing that where someone said, yo, old that for me, or would you see other people do it? What what made you start doing that? I think the pain that I saw on mum's face mm. every time I asked for new stuff. Mm. Every time I said, mum, can I get new trainers? Hey, my son, I don't have. You know, like, I don't have. Mm. Like, I don't <laughs> have. <laughs> like, that. <laughs> like, I don't have. I don't, so... Hearing that every minute, I just thought, you know what? All right, I'm mm. gonna give you. Them. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this situation. Yeah. So I want to be able to give my mum money, or mm. when she needs money, I'll give her money. Because so, you had uh, not to. That was my mentality. I mean, yeah. not to mention names, but you had someone who'd brought you in into a line that was doing really, really well on ends. If you remember that line. Yeah, yeah. And that and that line ended up giving ended you a up. lot of issues. Because everyone was hating, everyone was jealous of it. Like, why are you leaving him the phone? Why is he getting the phone? Because you end up getting that line because obviously someone went to jail. And yeah, but like, that was my boy at the same yeah. time. My boy, me and he was around. We mm. together every day. He's the one that brought you in originally. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He brought me in originally. He got my mind fully active on that. Like, I used to just roll and think, what? He used to, we used to wake up in the morning, you know, in his pyjamas. Mm. I'll knock the door. He's in his pyjamas smoking a big spliff. He's like, yeah, mum, come, chill, man. And we're smoking. And then he's like, all right, let me get ready quickly. I'm like, all right, come then. He's like, no, nah, let's jump in the car quick. I want to buy some clothes quick. Mm. So every morning, my man, he buys his new outfit. Mm. He buys a whole outfit mm. in the mornings. So I used to think, well, wow, I, what, is that what you do? You no, know, like fresh iceberg. Mm. Before he goes in the shower, we've gone like Probitos or one of them shops. Mm. And he's um, colours yeah. impeccable. So yeah. colours knew me, my, me and him very well. Mm. We'll go in there and then he'll buy, we'll buy an outfit and then go back to his jump in the shower. And then that's how he steps out. Mm. So that, I don't know, that lifestyle just got to me. Innit? And yeah. obviously he's brought you in and then through that, I remember there's an incident, you probably don't remember this, there's an incident, I think you either crashed your car or you ran back to the house quick. You said, you, oh, police were chasing you or something. You ran back to the house quick, you was hiding. Do you remember that? There's like an incident that, it's, I don't know if you crashed your car in Southampton way or something, but you ran back in the car quick saying there was a police. And I think, I think that's the first time I think you said you were shot or something like that. But that line, as you said, gave you a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. Is it because, I mean, how, was, how well was that line doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so after after he's gone to jail now, and also you looking after the line, did you have did you feel responsible with that line? Was there people trying to yeah, say? Yeah, I felt responsible to keep this phone. Like no one's gonna take this phone off me. And at the same time, it's it's boosting like I don't know, I'm getting money and I'm just doing me, innit? Mm. I'm just doing me. They've left the phone with me. I'm not watching no one really, but no one's taking this phone off me. Yeah. So and at this point, are you getting a lot of threats at this time from people or is it there, just... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I got a, not threats, but yeah. So eventually though, you end up getting arrested for a food case. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how long you end up in jail, but miraculously, before trial, police have lost the evidence. Yeah. I mean, how was, I was in, I happen? was in, how long was I in there for? I think I was in there for like a year on remand. Yeah back and forth in court mm. or video link and all that stuff. I mean, that was, like, your, that was your first time in jail, right? Yeah. And where, that, where, where did a, you go first? Where did you go first? Felton? Was it Felton? Yeah, Felton. Yeah, yeah, I've been to Felton. Yeah. I mean, going there at the time, how was that for you, like, going to prison for the first time? I, I, I think I was scared mm. the first time ever. The first time, I ain't going to lie. Whoever saying that they didn't cry, they're probably lying. But, yeah. Like, the first ever time... I didn't expect it. I'm thinking I'm probably going to talk whatever in court and they're going to let me out. But, yeah, that, I, I cried in, that, in, the, in the van mm -hmm. when you're going through the little Sakurko van. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So even, tear, even, a little tear drop thinking, fuck, I can't go home. I'm not going nowhere kind yeah. of thing. So. so eventually when you've, you've beaten the case, you're out. How soon was she back on road doing the same thing? Did you think, oh, you know what? That's a, I'm not doing that again. But he was back, back straight back at it. I, it was like an, an addiction at first, I would say. Because mm. I was just like, as soon as they let me out, I'm back on it. Mm. I know where my phone is. I know where everyone, what I need to do. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, my car probably parked up somewhere and someone's probably been watching it or taking care of it for me. Yeah. So I'm back. So at this time, like you're, like I said, you're shooting again. Are you thinking there's an escape route one day? Like, are you thinking of the future? Like, you know what? I'm gonna make enough money and, and buy a house. Or you're just thinking that. Like, yeah, this, no. This I think good, good whoever future. doesn't come in, if you're doing it for whatever reason, then they, they, it don't make no sense. Because yeah. that, hey, that, whoever back then, our thinking was, look, I'm trying to get out of the hood. Mm. I'm doing whatever to either make a business or I'm gonna buy my mum a house thinking, you know, like 15, we don't know how much mortgages are and all yeah. of that, but you're just thinking, yeah, I'm going to buy my mum a house. Yeah. I'm going to take care of my mum. I'm going to buy my mum a house. So that was, that was the thinking. And, I mean, tragedy hit and Fraser, of course, died. Mm. I remember coming back home and dad saying, oh, because they live in number 25, we live number 22. And dad said, oh, the guy, Marcus, number 25, um, apparently he's dead. I remember breaking out. How did you find that? He told you, I think I think probably the same way, but mm. yeah, I was hurt by that man. 
I've heard. I've and that heard. was someone that I guess, like you said, was someone that we when we first moved to Gloucester Estate is who we first we used to go to their mum's house. Yeah, that's who looked and after then, me, bro. And funny enough, when they've destroyed the whole neighborhood, but it's a new neighborhood, they are next door neighbors again, basically. Mm. So it's, we've always lived next door to each other. It's, yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's crazy. Always. So. And then um, I guess also as well, someone who also lived under and actually that's that, that yeah, it's in around the same time actually. Yeah, yeah, that's when I went to job. So. In around that time as well, another neighbour who sort of lived with us, I think they lived number 28, when we, was in, we lived 25, was um, Abiola, right? So he was someone that was mm. very close to the family and the whole incident with his young brother was sort of a tragedy. And I remember that day when you called me, basically telling me that, what the fuck have you done? And did you actually at that point ever really think that I was involved or I'd done anything at the time? No, nah, I just, I don't know. No, nah, I didn't think he was involved. I knew, you know, my, my brother ain't done this. Mm. You get me? But I was just getting the calls from people. Yes. I, I'm calling you like, what the fuck's going on? What have you done? Mm. You get me? And then you're crying on the phone about your friend. You get me? Rest in peace. But yeah, I, I, obviously I never knew you did that. Definitely not. I said, like, Definitely rest, not. Rest, rest, rest in peace. To, Definitely to rest in peace, man. Because there's a lot of people who lost their lives in that whole period. Mm -hmm. But back to this sort of um, line, as I said, so it, it brought you a lot of issues. So I think there's a period in 2006 when there's an incident happened, like I said, not again named, where you're kind of sort of G check to say, you know what, you need to get things over here from now on. That incident that happened because it ended up being a thing where I was having to look over my shoulder, you're looking over your shoulder, Jarvis looking over his shoulder. I mean, that incident that happened, like, you're going to talk us through the, the night itself because you said you were sitting in your car. Yeah, well, going to detail about it. No, 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 is that a deal, but you were kind of sitting in sitting your car. In, yeah, I've come to get something sitting in my car and two guys have rolled up on me. Mm. But obviously, I know them. I know them. Yeah. I'm cool with one of them. Yeah. Not cool, but we're, we're cool. So he come to the car and he, he wanted to talk. Like, mm. yo, can we talk? And then I'm like, yeah, cool, man. That's, that's not, jump in, you get me? Mm. Then the other one's trying to get in as well. Mm. But I'm not, I'm not cool with that. I don't mm. like my man, mm. you get me? Me and him just don't get on in it or yeah. whatever. Rest in peace too. But um, yeah, it escalated. The situation escalated. Like, yeah. At first it was like, it was humble. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah, we're cool, we're talking, what's going on, man? Mm. What, are you, what are you saying? And then it switched when my man's got in the car. Mm. So it's become two against one. Yeah. I'm fighting two people against one kind mm. of thing. Like, I mean, how did it actually even turn it into an actual fight? Because like I said, it was cool, and then how did it turn into an actual fight? Obviously, they've got in my car, they? yeah. they've got in my car, one trying to headlock me, mm. and the other one's trying to take my keys. Yeah. So... What else? What are you, you going to do after that? You better start fighting. So, so it's ended up in a situation where you've had to run out of the car and you end up with dad mm. and the guy into Lidl's and there's a madness over there. Dad trying to pull you off. No, no I've run. I've, I've Obviously, it's two against one and I'm thinking, this ain't going nowhere. This is nonsense, man. This is like, it's stupid, isn't it? Yeah. It was, a, it was stupid. So I'm thinking, like, do you know what? Let me go get something. Mm. Cause I ain't fighting two people yeah. on my own. So mm. let me go get something. So then, as I've, the way I've run in the house, yeah. dad opened the door. Yeah. He, I didn't say no, hello, nothing. I've just kind of barged him out of the way and I've gone to get something mm. in, up in the room. I've come back out, I left the door wide open. Yeah. And I've gone with, I've, I've run back out with one foot on. Mm. I'm running up Peckham with one, one shoe on. Mm. So, Obviously, that's when he's thinking, what's this boy doing? Mm. So he's followed me up. Yeah. And then that's when he's, met, he's seen me inside the place, me and my man going out. And after that, I guess Peckham's erupted because your phone hasn't stopped. And then people have ended up, like I always say, like, I just feel like, why is Carly bringing beef to the house? Our house is the most. No, but I was never the beef guy, though. I'm the, I defend myself. Mm. I'm not going to bring it, but I will defend myself. Yeah. That's all it is. I mean, I, I like to say, to believe you sometimes. Sometimes you did. <laughs> sometimes you did. Sometimes you, you were the architect of your own sort of starting things as well. So I can't, mm. I can't give you that. I have to be fair. Mm. With that one, I'll say you didn't start it. But it's ended up that where, like I said, we got the Baitis house in Peckham. Mm. That everyone knows. But it's ended up like, 
what is it, 30, 40 people outside the house? Something mm-hmm. like that? Mm-hmm. I mean, where, what? what my, someone's come to the house. Yeah. I'm like, yo, let me, can we talk? Can we talk outside? No. And he's just by himself. Yeah. He's by himself at mm-hmm. first. Remember, mum's bit has got the bushes at the yeah. front and all of that. He's by himself at first. He's like, yo, can we talk? I'm like, yeah, cool, why not? But then, obviously, mum's looking out the window. Yeah. She's thinking, so I don't want these things in front of my mum. Yeah. Or outside my mum's house. So I'm, I said to him, let's, let's walk around there. Let's go over there and talk, innit? Or yeah. something, away from the house. Yeah. But as I've got in there, as I've got through the park or whatever, this there is, is an ambush. Mm. A bear man waiting. Mm. But, yeah, that was not. That, yeah. that was like. I mean, after that though, are you so, I think that's when I got the call and I think your car key was gone at the time you, you yeah. said to try and get your, your, your car key back for you at the time. Are you looking over your shoulder all the time or are you just thinking, oh, that's because you, you had phone calls from everyone, even at family the time, members and things like that saying, oh, you, you know, know what? what? It was a proper dumb situation, isn't it? Mm. Like, I think probably back now, looking at it now, me and my man probably, I think we both probably agree that it was stupid. No, you no, I, I, but I mean, I've, I've, definitely I've, I went to at use... the time, yeah, yeah. I've spoken happened, to him recently, thinking, and he said as well that was just a dumb situation, it was yeah, a silly definitely. situation. And but it was... at the time when it, when remember we're young in it, mm. and everyone's egos, everyone's heated. So you bet you have to look over yourself. But, and what you have to figure as well is that because I, I used to be scared all the time of what could potentially happen because of all situations. Mm. Those periods there was such a dangerous time, mm. and to have survived that period, I mean, we'll get to more into other things, but to have survived that period. How fortunate do you think you are? Because there's so many people that we've even kind of sort of touched on who are no longer here. Mm. Would you ever fear for your life at any point at that time? I don't even think I thought about it like that. Yeah. Mm-mm. Never at any point? Mm-mm. I'm just... I just... I, back then, it's like I was just either green or red. Yeah. And there's no amber. Mm. So, I didn't really think about all that. So by this time, I've probably escalated myself into, I had a madness with, with dad and I've ended up going to um, Canning Town and also I started doing security vans. And I remember the first one I ever done. You phoned me. You <laughs> I phoned you, you and we ended up going me. to my ex-girlfriend's house to go and split the money. You're mad. And at that time, looking back, did you ever think that I would be someone that would get involved in things like that? No, me no, I was. no, no, no. Remember, you, the, you started playing football. Mm. So when this thing started, it's like everyone was thinking, has he lost his mind or something? Mm. Like, it's like you were you was not listening to nobody. Mm. It's like something got into your brain or some addiction that came over you or something. Like mm. you just weren't listening to no one. Even when they were telling you, slow down, stop. Where are you going? Like you were just, it's like you zoned out. But I'll say, I'll say this, you say this, but you happily took the money. Yeah, bruv, you told you've called me mm. and you've said, help me count it. So what mm. am I here for? But Obviously, I mean, I, well, I've helped you count it. Do you know how long we was in that room? Mm. We're counting all the that. Like, like, yeah, bro, there was, how, I can't remember how much was there, but we was in there for a while, bro. So mm. what do you think? I'm doing this for free. And how did you feel then when, when you've, you've heard now that I've ended up in jail for these things? Did you think... Cause I've, I've always said this. I, I said to you, your face is well now. I said, wherever you would have been, mm-hmm. I would have been. So I, I say this all the time. I say that if Carly, if Carly had decided, you know what? I'm going to be a teacher, I'm going to be a lecturer, or I'm going to be a, a scientist, or I would have done that. Obviously, I can't ever blame you for mm. the decisions I've made, but you take any responsibility as an older brother mm-hmm. to say, you know what, I could have I definitely. stopped him. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and it nearly happened with, with Jarvis mm-hmm. as well. As and when it got to Jarvis, remember with you, you had your own circle of friends. Yeah. I hardly kind of even saw you on the road sometimes. Yeah. I'm doing my own thing. Mm. I'm just have a, I have a hearing what you're doing or you're hearing about what I'm doing. But when it got to like to Jarvis, mm. he remember he tried tried to get his feet into it. Yeah. But then the more phone calls he gave, he kept calling me and you. Yeah. That's when I thought, you know, nah, this needs to stop. Yeah. This needs to stop. Because there's that incident with Jaws, I think I had an interview with Size, and he said how much he regrets it as well. The time when they all came to Monza and we've had to go and, and, and chase him. And I always just say... Remember, we was all young in Peckham. You know? mm. Everyone, most of us were all young and just growing up. So, and we was all friends. Mm. Everyone was friends. But you know what? The funny thing is, it happens every generation. Everyone was friends. It's only once the... The, we started growing up money, and the money, money getting money. involved and the flashy cars and yeah that's when everyone kind of went this way or that way p- picking teams and what side you're with and all that but that's why even with certain 
with certain situations, even like with that situation mm. that happened with me and my man, it, it, it kind of, it nearly separated a lot of people. Mm. And it couldn't really go as far as well because there's too much mutual people. Like, and everyone also, knows each other. Also, like, it was kind of family. And it's all family. Yeah. Like, it's, a, it's like an in-house family situation. Mm. You get me? So, boy. So, obviously, I'm going to play devil's advocate here again. So, you say kind of like you didn't want me to sort of get involved in trouble and so on, mm. right? So, I've ended up going to jail. I mean, Wandsworth, there's a couple of people in, from Peckham over there. And there's one guy in particular, no names again, who you do not get along with. You told me issues about him. I've told you, yo, my man's in there. Mm. You said, yo, go move to him, go move to him. Mm. So, at that time, are you, just, are you thinking I selfishly? Even, yeah. Are you thinking selfishly? Selfishly. Because even when I think about it now, I think, how can I even tell you to do that this mm. time you're in jail? Yeah. But, yeah, the, at the time, the probably the hatred, or not even hatred, I don't hate no one, mm. but the anger, I say, that yeah. I had for the individual at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, 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 I'll, I'll tell you what, though, I've approached the individual and I've told him, I said, that, yo, because I don't think he knew who I was and he was sharing a cell with someone else that we know from Peckham. And I've gone to him and said, yo, what's going on with my brother? And he said, who's your brother? And I said, Mona. He's like, oh, like, what was he said? I said, you've said this, you've said, because you told me all this stuff, mm -hmm. right? And he turned around and said, nah, man, I never had an issue with your brother. It was all to do with that line that you said mm -hmm. before, the line. He said that my man who gave you the line was saying that he should take over the line and you wouldn't hit, give, give him the line. Yeah. Was that a thing where it would have been a simple conversation that, that could have been had? Or was it too... Possibly, yeah. possibly. But at the time, everyone's just heated. And, not even heated, I don't know. If we probably, both of us probably have, have approached the situation differently. Mm. Yeah. But at the time, no one ain't thinking like that. Yeah. Do you um, think that a lot of people, like, they, they, they make their mistakes too young, they don't really, I mean, I mean that, that is very true, but you don't really think, you don't think of the bigger picture at the time, just rage and beef and it's not even thinking that, you know what, we can actually actually have a conversation, actually have a sit down yeah. and it's, it's not... It's not a hundred percent. Yeah. Because even now, some of these beefs that go on after a few years or a few months, you're back, you're kind of around mm. the same person again, yeah. or there's close networks that yeah. have you look close. So then you look at the, think, the situation and think, what was it for? Yeah. Like, what, what did we get out of it? Mm. What was the point of it? Kind yeah. of thing. So, so um, going for, so I've ended up getting sentenced, I mean, jail. I mean, right here at the time. And uh, one, one of the guys that you know as well, Dixon, he's come to me and he's like, oh, yo, you need to call home. I'm like, call home for what? He said, oh, your brother got shot four times last night. Like, I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I, didn't, I, didn't, I couldn't get to my phone at the time. He's like, yeah, call home. Your brother got shot. I mean, talk us through that night, like from going out to the to the incident. Um, I know it could be a, it's a difficult one. I don't one. really like, I, wanted, I don't really like going into the incident. Yeah. But, yeah, we was out just normal partying, man. Partying and it wasn't meant to, I don't know. How can I explain? It wasn't, wasn't meant for me. Yeah. Thing. But wrong place at the wrong time. Man. Mm. That's how it was. But I know you're kind of bypassing it, but uh, if you went to a club in Dagenham, mm. right? You had good time with your friends. You've come out, and I think you told me the story before, mm -hmm. and you're just you're, you're kind of drunk a little mm -hmm. bit. Now, me knowing you, yeah, you're a bit hot-headed. Mm. You're very hot-tempered, mm -hmm. right? Even at the last carnival I went with you, someone barged into you a little bit, you was ready to be mm. active. And I'm like... But remember, I'm drunk mm. at that time. Yeah. I'm drunk. I've come out of a rave. I'm drunk, so... That's, that's what I'm trying to get at. Mm. I'm trying to get at you. are a little bit drunk, right? So is it a thing that where you have instigated something or unknowingly? I think so. Possibly could have. I yeah. think so. But I'm possibly thinking that it's one of my people. Yeah. Not thinking that it's some... Um, Random dude, not trying to start anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm thinking it's my people that I'm mixing with. Yeah. But until I've seen the thing pointed at me. I mean, how, how has it got to the point where he's pointed it at you? I think we were this close. How yeah. me and you are sitting out like yeah. this now. Yeah. And I think it was like, yo. And someone's turned around and like, yo, fam. Because, wait, he's barging to you or something, mm. like you said, yeah? And I've turned around. Was like, it oh, or could it be an accident? Could have been an accident or something. But then the point, the gun's in my face, isn't it? Yeah. And I think I was telling someone that the other day. 
that little split, it's like two seconds, isn't it? Mm. When the gun's in your face and then it, when it gets triggered, shot. But it felt like an hour yeah. of decision making. Mm. Do I? Do you try to run or you just do I first? grab it? Now, this is what I'm saying. That do I grab it? Do I turn and run? Like all these little things are going through your mind. It's like, I ain't gonna lie, I froze. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I froze. Once I saw it in my face like that, I froze. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And then when he's actually shot, did you actually hear the, the, hear the gun go off? Because I think one time you told yeah. me that you, you actually thought you didn't even get hit. Yeah. Now I knew I got hit, but it didn't feel, at first, it didn't feel like I got hit. Yeah. So until that you're trying to do all of that, I, I did all the do, 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 that it hit me. Yeah. But I think because I was drunk, yeah. the alcohol, it, yeah. yeah, I didn't feel nothing. And what the doctors and that said as well, I didn't go into shock. Okay. That, that, that saved you. That saved me as well. Because I wasn't like, ah, or whatever. Mm. Like, I was on the floor like, trying to... Firm it. Firm it. Like, mm. I was even talking with my friends and that. Like, when they came, they was like, bub, like, you was talking. But did, you, did, like, they, did, they, did they hear their gunshot and run towards you? Or did they... I, I was even... I can't remember. I can't remember where everyone was. Mm. It was like a big car park or a big rave kind of thing. But I yeah. can't remember where everyone was. No. Because I remember... See, hearing about it on the... On the news. On the news. Oh, my brother just don't have a phone. I remember hearing about it on the news and it was saying, basically, I think it was 24 at the time, and it said 24-year-old man, uh, we'll call it shot, in Dagenham, people arrested. Because there's a thing, apparently someone had dumped your body in Beckton. Nah, so this is what I'm saying. Like, So I'm, I'm trying to do all that, uh, firming it. And when them not come, they were like, you were talking. I was like... Talking, isn't he? Like, oh, yeah. does he know who I am? Like, mm. uh, is he mad? Is he mad? Kind mm. of thing. And then I remember I didn't feel the pain as much yeah. until, you know, once the air, yeah. you start to feel air, it's like someone's let all the windows open. Mm. Like, you know, when the window just busts open, yeah. the wind's so strong in the house. Mm. So it's like, remember, I've got four holes, so I'm trying to patch it. And yeah. that's when. Yeah, the pain started kicking in. So whose car did you go into straight away then? I didn't, I, I knocked that, I dropped by then. Yeah. I was unconscious or whatever. This is everything people told me after. Yeah. I don't even remember much, but everyone told me. I remember me one thing you after. did tell me that resonated with me at the time, because we both had our daughters the same year. I think your daughter was born in January, mine was born in June, just after I'd, I'd been sentenced. And I remember you t- telling me at a point that, you kept on saying your daughter's name, saying, oh, mm-hmm. so I just That's want to... That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, so I think someone's put me in the back of a car. I don't remember who... I don't know whose car. Someone's put me in the back of a car. And there was... Just, and I was talking, didn't it? Like, not talking, I think. Yeah, I was saying that. Nah. I kept repeating yeah. my daughter's name. I kept repeating my daughter's name. I kept repeating my daughter's name. And then... There was... I think the person was telling me... This is what they've told me. Yeah. They was like, no, you're not going to go. You're not going to go. Mm. Like, and by that time, I started saying, look after my daughter. Yeah. Just look at it. Whatever you do. Mm. I think he's godfather. Godfather tonight. Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's godfather tonight. So I was just like, bro, look after my daughter. Look yeah. after my daughter. Did, did, did you actually think you, you was going? Would when you... I started to say, look after my daughter. Look after I think that's when I started to close my eyes. Yeah. Like, blinking and that. And then, yeah. Uh, do you remember actually getting to the hospital or do you just remember waking up after the coma? Well, like the, the mad thing is, I remember I remember the paramedics coming and putting me in a helicopter. Yeah. Like, taking me up in the air. But then I knocked out. Yeah. The next time I opened my eyes, everyone's in the room. Mm. Bed, mum, everybody crying. Like all these people, and everyone's like, "It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks." Yeah. I'm like, "What? Mm. Now, what do you mean two weeks?" Yeah, it's, it's been two weeks, my son. It's been two weeks. And I'm thinking, what, "What? What do you mean two weeks?" Like everyone's like, "You've been sleeping for two weeks." Yeah. So yeah, I didn't. No. Do you remember? Like, a lot of people say something when they're coma and they have dreams. Do you remember 
even being at coma, any dreams that you might have had? Because some people say they meet God or they meet some spirit. Nah, my thing. one's weird, man. Yeah. My one's weird, but like, I've said it to a few people, but I don't, I choose, still try to understand what it meant, but it's weird, bro. Like, do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you said it now. For some reason, I ended up in Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Buckingham Palace doing what? Wow, wow. I was in Buckingham Palace. Yeah. I was walking through the palace, going through the palace. You know, like sneaking through the rooms, like, okay, like yeah. ducking behind the walls and like let the guard go and then I was, yeah. Bob, I was there. I felt like it fit, well, I don't know, but it felt, it feels real, innit? Yeah. I was in the palace and I managed to get in mm. to where she keeps all the doors. Yeah. Yeah. So even in your dreams, you're thinking about the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I got into where she kept all the, you know, there's a, it's, Bob, it's mad. She's, there's, there's a chamber. Yeah. Like there's a, there's a chamber yeah. at the bottom down. Mm. And I, I opened the door, and you're like those treasure rooms. Aladdin, like yeah, yeah like yeah. Aladdin's treasure mm. room. There's coins and paintings and mm. bare stuff, probably mm. all stuff from Africa or whatnot. Mm. I don't know, but well, all I wanted there was all I took was a blue chain. Yeah, and I never know. I've never known. I've never seen the queen with it. I don't know. I never knew she had it. Mm. It's like a blue, and it's just got blue. Stones. Do you know what it could mean? This is what I've said it to a couple of people, even mm. some old like Rastafari man. Me and him sat down and I've told him about it and he's like, you need to check what that means. Mm. There's something to do with that blue sapphire mm. and blue sapphire probably connect to you or I don't mm. know, I don't know. But I was in, <laughs> yeah, I was in bucket of uh, but, but yeah, I don't know. Everything flashed. I don't know. I can't explain it. Uh, you, you, I mean, thank God you survived. You're here to speak about it. But then, not even maybe six weeks later, you're in jail. So you got bullet wounds in you. You're recovering, and you end up in jail. And like I said, you like to say that you know what? I don't always start things. Now that this this time, this one you started it. <laughs> this time, yeah. After getting shot, my mind was all over the place. Yeah. Like I was angry with myself for how I handled the situation or not even retaliating. Because mm -hmm. I had to make so much that, that it's like I had to battle with myself, innit? Yeah. Remember, Naya was six months old. Yeah. So do I go back, if I do find this person or whatever, do I go back and just do a madman? Mm. Like lights out the whole house, like everyone. Mm. Or do I just watch? my daughter grow and sit in peace or and let God deal with it. Yeah. That's the battle. You know, them demons like, yeah, so that's, I had to battle with things like that. Yeah. And then at the same time, the police sat outside mum's house for like two weeks. Yeah. They were two, three weeks. They kept knocking the door like, ah, oh, tell the Peckham boys not to retaliate. And then they, they, like, there was a car marked undercovers or whatever, just sitting yeah. there. For the weeks and weeks watching people that like, because they were just the door was open yeah. everyone was coming to visit me mm. in and out in and out in and out so they i remember one day they knocked the door and they were like ah, please mrs kasang uh, tell the boys no no we you get me mm. like, so and then at that time is all well, everyone's trying to take me church and stuff like that but i'm just mad yeah i'm mad at the world bro. I'm mad at whoever didn't like me, whoever had beef with. If you had an issue with me, you better come sort it out. Mm. So, yeah, I was just angry. So, to, the minute I came out of that coma and I can touch the ground, as soon as my feet touch the ground, I did something dumb. Yeah. Mm. I did something dumb that landed do you me mean, back do you, in jail again. Do, do, do you re, re, regret it? Because, not to mention names again, that was a friend that I remember from primary school mm -hmm. and have you guys ever spoken since that time and mm -hmm. it, mm. is there something that where you think that you could sort of reach out and say you I've know tried. What? I've yeah. tried I've yeah. tried a couple of times but it's like you did a dirty man mm. you done you done wrong you, I, I accept 
that that one I fully accept that I did wrong. Mm. I did wrong. I mean, my mind wasn't in, in check. Yeah. I've just been shot. I'm just, I don't trust no one. Mm. I'm angry with everyone. I'm angry with myself. Yeah. So, yeah, man. And in, in regards I to, I did, guess... I, I just did what I felt like doing. Mm. And, I mean, being in prison at the time as well, for certain, silly as it, silly as it was, and you, and you got this injury, what did you the feel? The incident wasn't silly. The situation, yeah, it was it wasn't silly. Still I mean, time, yeah, I mean, you you, you, I got, the, you got you, you, you got the it. money from it, but it it, it it cost a friendship. Yeah, definitely. Out of it. So yeah. it wasn't worth it in no, the end. If you look at it, it wasn't a friend. It was, it was a good amount of money, but it didn't, it didn't um, serve its purpose, if right. per se. And but one thing to say that one, when, that's when one you, regret though, definitely. Yeah, but say that once you're in prison after two months, I mean, after six weeks, whatever, of just being shot, are you thinking, what the fuck am I doing here, man? Like, yeah, well, it's like even. The whole, every prison I went to, it's weird because it's like we glorify like um, the bad man. Yeah. Uh, when, when I'm walking around in the prison yard, people gave me respect mm. because I had the wounds and because I'm walking around bandaged up in prison. Yeah. Like I was in prison bandaged yeah. with a big bandage mm. and I'm trying to do all of that yeah. in, in prison. So it's like, some, some of them older men, them older men mm. talk to me a lot. Yeah. Like, Yo, there's a real bad boy there, you know, real mm. bad man. <laughs> and sometimes I just sit there and think, why does it take for that? Mm. Why does it take for that? And of course, not to get into details, like we are kind of aware of the, 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 the person who had done this to you. Is there a thing that where you're like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it anyway, man. It is where it is. And like, I've moved over my life. I've kind of... Move. I've moved on. I ain't gonna lie. I've st- I've had to battle with it. This is why I don't even want to talk. Yeah. It took me so long to talk. Mm. Cause probably still kind of yeah. But I'm in a space where I just left it. Mm. But I've there's been people that's come up to me mm. and said, "Yo, I've had to do da 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 da." Yeah, but yeah, I've, I know, I, yeah, I, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, not definitely. had to do with me. Yeah, but yeah. So obviously you come out then. Obviously, I was, I was in jail still. Then you started working with St. Giles and you mm-hmm. started doing sort of going into schools and stuff. How important was it you for your journey to say, you know what, bro, I've lived this lifestyle. It's not worth having been shot and now to sort of tell young people about your experiences of what happened well, to you. Well, the reason why, the honest reason why when that kind of drew me that way is because the image of the you in my head mm. that shot me Oh, he looked like a little boy. Yeah. He looked like a little boy bro, mm. at the time, anyway. So, that, I don't know, once I started to feel a bit more positive and going to church and people, like pastors and that, trying to pray on me and make me stand up and give my testimony and things like that, I started to think, you know what? Leave it to God. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it to God. And now, well, I've got three kids now. Yeah. So, would I have come this far mm. if I chose the other door? Yeah. You get me? Mm. Or was it just the best thing to just live your life in peace? And in regards to, I guess, like I said, how, is, how important is it for you now to actually speak to the youth and tell your story to say, you know what, it's not worth it. This world life is, a, wow. there's only a couple of people we can say that's cut no, true. Not many people cut true. It, I don't know. That... I tell I, when I was at St. Giles, I wasn't trying to sugarcoat nothing to these kids. Yeah. I wasn't trying to tell them like, look, need to da 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 that it's a it's a I'll just tell you the real. Mm. I'll tell you what I've been through. Yeah. And I'll tell you firsthand that bruv, it's not worth it. Mm. It is not worth it. Cause I've seen my friends that have gone the normal way, nine yeah. to five way, and but they they're living life in peace. Yeah. They're the ones with the mortgages mm. and with the businesses and mm. doing so much better in life. And it's like, when I think about my life, I think, oh, I just did a 360, but mm. trying to take a shortcut. Yeah. So that's why they say shortcuts are never a shortcut, really. Yeah. I mean, and how, how I guess, because one person I'm immensely proud of is our younger brother, Jarvis. Mm-hmm. People call him Jarvis, but we call him Jarvis. Like, yeah, when I look I, at him, come on, it's just like... He just he, turned 30, he just yeah. celebrated his 30th, we had a surprise birthday party from this year. And like, 
he was going through that lifestyle and he knew to change it immensely. I remember funny things. You must have you must have called me one time. I was in jail. It was his job is big in the church. Mm. He, he, he was fully immersed in the church. Mm. <laughs> and I think you come actually you, you come to visit me. I was in ISIS, HP ISIS, you come to visit me. And you're like, Bob, I think Jarvis is being brainwashed. <laughs> yeah, no, at first. I think no, he's being brainwashed. I'm hearing about all these different churches. I can't, what, I can't remember the name of the church yeah. that he went he started off with. But I'm, it's my little brother, man. I'm hearing all these funny churches are brainwashing people. And, mm. and the way he just just turned around one mm. day, he just is on it. Mm. I was thinking, what? what is Pastor playing with my little brother or is he mm. trying to mess with his head or something? I remember what, what I said to you, you know what? I'd rather that he's being brainwashed by the church than mm-hmm. for him to be on the roads. No, nah, definitely. I'd, I'd rather. And the thing is, we're not going to see he's being brainwashed. What is that he found God he in found his God. way? He, he found it he, early, and he's found it early. And what he's, he's a married man. Mm-hmm. He's bought a house, just sold a house. He works in. Like the other day, he came to. The, he came in the car in a brand new shape, new. Mm-hmm. So he's done the nine to five thing and just done it legitimately. And, and that's what I'm trying that. to show. I kept that's, seeing that and seeing it though. Mm. I kept seeing it. It's not like you want to stay in that cycle of shot, you know, whatever. Mm. It's like your brain has to get to a stage where it just clicks for itself. Because the short money, what is what I say? Like, like it started early for for you. Because I say that you, like you said, you saw all these people with the the, the, the nice mm-hmm. things, with the trainers, with the so because you couldn't get it, there wasn't the thought of you know what long term goal I'll mm-hmm. get them. You like the short term goal, and I think I followed in your thoughts. Yeah. Like, oh, Carly's got the latest thing. Mm-hmm. I used to try and steal your stuff. Like, I might as well make a confession now. Oz probably doesn't know this. Remember, Oz had that machine or barbed wire jacket, yeah. <laughs> that barbed wire one. Yeah. I bought it one time. And I tried to we, we go to uh, not Caesar's Palace, not Caesar. What's the one in uh, Satin Gardens? Imperial. Imperial yeah. Gardens. And I didn't have money <laughs> to, to to put the coat hanger up. <laughs> and that jacket That's got that left I there. I remember that. My, yeah, that was my jacket. Bro. Yeah, so yeah, that jacket. Yeah, apologies, guys. That jacket is gone. But yeah, I used to come and take you guys and stuff because, of course, I was following what you guys were mm. doing. But like I said, with Jobs, he just said, you know what? No, I'm going to go. And, 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 if, and I'm so glad for that, though. Yeah. Now, when I look back at him, I'm just so proud of him, man. I just look at him and I'm like, I'm proud of you, man. Mm. Like, I'm just so happy that you didn't go down that route. Yeah. Like, and as for yourself now, like, how important is fatherhood? Because you've got three kids, you've got a, a, a boy yourself or something. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes as a man, a daughter's easier to sort of handle than a, a boy. Yeah, a boy is, you, is, you start yeah. fearing about all these Yeah, sort of, it's like, it's you, isn't it? You're thinking, is he going to have the same anger issues as me? And is he going to do what I did and I want him to do better and not go down that same And how do you go around trying to kind of prevent that? I'm just trying to be the best father right now and give mm. them as much time, my time, mm. quality. And 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 that's the thing there, right, is that a lot of times, and I used to tell my partners, we get caught up in thinking we need to provide money, we need to nah, get money, we need to get money, we need to get I'm money. I'm a park guy. Yeah. Mm. Most of the time you see me take the kids in the park. Yeah. I'll put my shorts on and whatnot. We're sitting in the park, we'll get a football or tennis racket. That, little things like that mean the most to me. Yeah. You get me? Especially after getting shot. That mate. So in regards to now you're 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 you're, you're working now. Then, how how important is it to you as uh, for role model for your kids? You know what? I don't even do that. I'm just going to be working my my, 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 my my work and I mean you're working with us now as well with, with Big Eagle but like just doing what you're doing and not having to look over your shoulder for the police not having well, to It's like if someone had told me this from years ago yeah, like come on man this is the peace in my life I've been searching for so many years but it's I had to go through whatever I went through to find it, it? Yeah. and everyone has their own journey so I don't regret it but I just wish someone would have told me early. No. That's all. And what, 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 what are you looking forward to now in the next like, few years? That we... Now, it's like, now how I'm comfortable to talk about my situation and what my incident and what I went through. The book is yeah. the next chapter. And then, yeah, just take it from there, really. But I'm just kind of getting to a stage where I want to close it as well. Yeah. I don't really want to keep... Keep coming back to it as well. Yeah, so this is like your first and last yeah. sort of interview mm. just to mm. wrap it all up. And any, sort of any messages out there to anyone, any young people watching or any just friends well, and stuff like that? Like, if, mate, I tell all of you that from now, if you don't think that road life is sweet, then please learn from someone like me. I've got all the scars, the wounds, all of that, man. Is like, it, I think, can, can we, I know you probably don't want to, but can we see the actual wound? Because it is a little bit terrifying. I think the young people actually need to see that if possible. Can we, can we see it or is it something that you're, oh, yeah, if you want to see it. Yeah. Can we zoom in on it, please? Oh, stand up. Yeah. 
and if you can see, can you like can you talk talk us through exactly where is what what please there? Yeah, well the bullets all came in from here. Yeah. So my bag. Yeah. And then bullets travel in it. Yeah. So they all travelled. One came out there. And that's really just, your heart. Yeah, just missed my heart. Just missed my heart. And there's another one. I don't have to take my jump yeah, off. Yeah, no, that's cool. It's yeah. literally right there. Yeah. And the doctors and that said one more inch. Yeah. I would have had it amputated on. Wow. So. So how fortunate do you feel? And do you, do you believe God plays a part in it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And this is another reason why I just thought, you know what? You need to just allow that. Don't don't even try to go down that way mm. because. I believe in karma, man. Yeah. Like, and I've been, what I was doing, I, I'm not, it wasn't the best, in it? Yeah. The life I was living growing up, or the things that I did, I'm not really proud of. Yeah. Some of the things mm. I did, you get me? So, and you, I even started to look at it like that. Like, is this my payback mm. for all the bullshit I've done? Mm. So, yeah, and if you do go back there and they come back here, when is this thing going to stop? Mm. Like, because you're going to go there and do a good job. They want to come there and go do a good job. So who's going to be left in your family? Mm. Like, where is this going to stop? Yeah. So that's where I started to look at it. And I thought, nah, man, the life is life is bigger than this, man. Yeah. Life is bigger than that, bro. Like, that's why all these kids, I try to just educate them and tell them, look, man, there's more to life than that. Mm. And now, like, who would have ever thought I got peace mm. from my nine to five? Mm. Like, it's like the best thing ever, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And guys, that was my big brother, and that's a wrap. You're right.